Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really awesome haul from AliExpress and the 99 Sun Store. I'm super excited because there's so many cute things that I want to show you, but for starters, I want to apologize for my voice. I ended up getting a cold, so if I sound weird, I'm sorry, bear with me. And also, some of you have been noticing that I've been doing a voiceover as of late, and that's just to avoid the traffic noise as much as I can whenever I do have an unboxing video from Happy Mail that will be um, live so you'll hear some noise. But for now, until we move, I will be doing voiceovers. So let's go ahead and get started with this haul. First, we have this really cute stocking die, and these six dies I'm going to show you are from Alina Craft, and I'll leave all the links down below. But this really cute stocking die, I love it. It's such a great size. This one is approximately one and three fourth inches, so it's a really good size for embellishments. And then width wise, it's about, I would say, about two inches. And you can see it here. I ended up cutting them all for you guys so you can see what they look like. And I think it's so cute. Check it out. I used the pattern paper for the foot and that's from Target from last year. And then I cut out the white parts and added some glitter onto the little top and to the little pom-poms. And I think it came out super cute. So that's from Alina Craft. Again, all the links will be down below. Next on the list, we have this super cute die and it comes with it's some greenery. So it comes with four in there, but on the way over here, I accidentally dropped one and I don't know where it landed. But I think this would be really cute to make a wreath or something cute. And the little small one is approximately, I would say about an inch and a half or so. Yeah, I would say about an inch and a half. And the longer one is about two and a half inches. Yeah, about two and a half inches. And again, it cuts out four. And I think they're really cute. You can leave them as is, cut them out in green. I cut mine out of glittered green paper. Or you can go in and um, cut, uh, color in those little red dots. And that would be really cute. Or those dots with red. Next, uh, we have this other really cute die. And all these are from Alina Craft. This one is this really cute house die. And this one is approximately three inches. It's a really good embellishment die or for cards. And I did paper piece it and I put yellow on the back, but I paper pieced it with white and added glitter on top. And then with a white gel pen, I did the little ones on top of the windows. And then I just put a piece of yellow paper on the back for the windows. If you had um, vellum, I think that would look super cute, but I didn't have any on hand. Next, we have this die, which is a cute little jar. And it's like a little mason jar and you can make different things. This isn't the final product, but it's approximately three inches as well. But I just wanted to cut everything out and just put it all together so you can see it together. So these ones make bows, which is really cute. The strips, that top one is actually for the lid. And then the strips just make like an extension to the bow for a ribbon. And then you have the cute little stars and the holly up here and the cute little candy cane that I also paper pieced. And I think it's super cute. Many things you could do with this particular die. Next, we have this really cute bow die that you've seen a lot of people haul, I'm sure. And I really like it. It's a really good size. This one is about three inches. And I cut it out of this gold paper. I love that it has these kind of like hearts on the edges and it looks really cute and stitched. Super easy to put together. Lastly, from Alina Crafts is this really cute peekaboo reindeer. I love it. It was so easy to put together. It has a lot of paper piecing, but I really love how it looks. And this one is approximately two and a half inches. And putting this like layering it on top of a card or peeking over something would be super cute. And I'm just showing you here the back so you can see what it looks like put together. These next two dies are from a different store. Again, I'll have that link down below. This first one is this really cute cocoa, like a snowman hot cocoa. And it's so cute. It's smaller than I thought, but it's it came out really cute once you paper piece it together. It does have several dies. They actually come connected, but I decided to cut them apart because you don't waste as much paper. But here it is put together. You can see that this top part makes a little snowman. And I didn't go and paper piece the little smile because that would be ridiculous. I used a pen for that and you can definitely use a pen for the eyes. And then you have the little coffee mug here or the hot cocoa mug. And you have the saucer for it, which is a really fun detail on there. And you have the little marshmallows. 
that I use a marker, a little marker to go ahead and make them look toasted. And then the snowflake in the center. And this one is about two inches. So a really cute embellishment die uh, to use on a rosette or, or on a like a tag for a Christmas present. That would be really cute. The last of my AliExpress dies is this reindeer and it's so cute with all of its accessories. Of course, because it's separated, you can just use the reindeer by itself and you don't need the accessories. Here's where I'm telling you that this one doesn't come apart. It's all in one piece and you just waste so much paper when it's like that. So that's kind of a downfall for this one, but it's really cute. And the measurement for this one from hoof to reindeer or antler is approximately two and three fourths and again it's so cute i love all of its accessories lengthwise or width wise it's one and three fourths and again the accessories are so cute and that's pretty much it for my aliexpress dies make sure to check the links down below and now we'll move on to the 99 cent store haul so to start off we have these really cute tins this santa one is so precious i just love the way it looks and this one was 99 cents and I think it's just really well made the little top comes off at the top like his little hat comes off and you can fit some goodies in here like if you wanted to send a little happy mail in here it would be really cute or some goodies like some candies and stuff I think he's just super cute and he's gonna decorate my desk continuing with the tins we have some really cute pastel tins I was really surprised to see these at the 99 cent store and they are meant to stack on top of each other, but they sell them separately. So I just kind of put them all in here. They have all these really pretty trees on them, and each one was 99 cents. And it comes with three different sizes, except I didn't pick up the middle size because it didn't have the tree design. I think it was just like maybe circles or something like that. But I think it's really cute, and I'm going to be using this for a gift along with the smaller one. And then I grabbed one more set of the tins, and this time I got all three. And these are circular, and they have the same design of the little Christmas trees and an ornament. And I think they're just super cute. So here I have all three stacked inside. You can put some cookies in here, or some candy, or just give something to your ha like happy mail to your pen pal. So so much good stuff that you can do. And they're so vintage to me. I think they're really cute. And this one's definitely going to decorate my desk. It goes with the decorations that I have on here. So super excited about that find. Next, I picked up some snowflakes. And these are ornaments. So you have seen me pick these up from the Dollar Tree as well. But I picked these ones up. They're $2 each pack. So a bit more expensive. But here's the Dollar Tree one, and it's a lot more flimsy than these ones. And they just I could just tell that the, the material on these and the quality was so much better. So even though I'm paying a dollar more, I think they're super well made. So I can show you the comparison here. So as you can see, this one is way better than the one from the Dollar Tree. This one's super flimsy. This one's really sturdy, and I love how frosted it looks. It's really pretty. The other one is more of a uh, trans or more of a white it's all white with glitter on it and this one's more transparent and frosted both of them drop glitter a lot but yeah definitely the 99 cent store one is in my opinion a better quality next we have another ornament and i picked this one up because it's really pretty great size and it's also like that frosted glitter it does come off but not too badly and I love that it's this like coral kind of blush peach color. Don't even know exactly what to call it, but it's a really pretty color. And I'm planning on altering this for a meetup that I have. And here we have even more ornaments. I picked up these two reindeer and they were both a dollar each. And I picked them up also to alter, whether to just add some paper flowers or something on there. I think they're really great quality. They are plastic, but I think they're really pretty and are going to be great to alter for goodies for my pen pals. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I picked up some confetti, and this is from the party section, and it's these really pretty iridescent stars, and I was so happy to find these because from this collection, it's the party. It's so hard to find the products, so I was so, uh, so excited to find these, and I also picked up even more ornaments because they're so pretty, and I picked these glittered gold, and I'm planning on using the antlers from one for that frosted coral one, and it's going to look really pretty. I'm going to add some paper flowers on there or some felted flowers. And the other one I will alter and gift to a friend. So really awesome. Again, a dollar for both of those. And then here are some ornaments. How exciting is that? Um, and these are some snowflakes. And I think they're really cool. I love how like the spikes on them, I guess, are really pretty. And I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with those, but I think they're really pretty. And then next I have, sorry, that was gonna tip over. Um, next I have this really pretty tray. This was $2 and it's this super cute polar bear with lights around and it's got a little pink dish. It's a little trinket dish and I think it's so cute and it's gonna go um, on my desk to decorate it. And then I also picked up this really cute llama lollipop, like a marshmallow lollipop that I'm gonna give to a friend and I think it's really cute as well. It's got those pastel colors. And from that same collection, it's a party. I picked up these iridescent straws and I think they're really pretty and I was so happy to find them. So definitely gonna be, use those, be using those for projects. And then lastly, I think I have two more items and that is this really fun find. So it's not crafty, but it is Kirby and they're those little like squishy toys and these were $2 each. And I think they're so cute. I'm going to gift one to a friend. And then I'm keeping this little sleepy one that I already opened. Here on the back, you can see all the different type that you can get. So it's not really a mystery pack. But I think it's cool that you can see it. And you can see here, it shows like a teal hat, but mine's purple. And it's so cute. Look how you squeeze it and it comes back to life. I think it's so precious. It's like a little um, distress ball. So I'll be putting that on my crafty desk. And it's going to bring me so much joy. But anyways, guys, that's everything that I hauled from the dollar store, the 99 cent store, and then also from Ali. I hope to catch you in the next video, and I hope you are having a super fantastic time. Bye! Hey guys, thanks for watching. Sorry I haven't been uploading. I have been sick for the past week and a half. I hope you catch up on those videos. Click on the one on the left for my December series and click on the one on the right for another crafty video. I hope to be back with more videos very soon. Catch you in the next one. Bye!